Hello everyone and welcome back to Binding of Isaac. Today I'm going to play as Eden in greed mode. Because why not? And I start with some scroll and a crap ton of health. Don't remember what this scroll was. I think it's like a random effect on each like activation. So it might be really, really bad. Okay, that's really nice. Okay. Two batteries. I shouldn't have used that pill in there. But yeah, what would elves had done? I should probably have waited, but I didn't. Not a big loss, especially with the space bar item I have right now. And um, that spider died, and I actually think I will blow this person up. Good game kit. Don't remember what this trinket does, but hopefully. It's good. Because why would I want a bad trinket? I don't know if I should use this trinket or not, or this space bar item or not. Let's try it. Okay, what will it do? Okay. I didn't notice anything whatsoever. And I will pause the game. And hopefully this will not crash the recording. I think that Binding Wise is good in a way that it keeps your recording going in the background. Now I have that thing on. There might have been like a bad lag screen for a couple of seconds or something like, oh, when you get hit, there's a chance you get this effect. So it's a really good trinket. Because I think that heals you. Holy crap. Oh, that was Book of Blyle, I think. Yeah, I think my damage went up quite a bit. That's pretty awesome. Ooh, don't explode on me. So right now, this item has been pretty good, actually. What do we get now? Okay, we got... P on the ground. From Lemon Mishap. I think. Crap. Stupid spider things. I hate spiders. Just go back and look at my like deepest dark videos and you will see why. Should I get something here? That one could be good enough, but I think I would like some range. Or keep my range. Don't remember what this does on this floor, but it's a seven it's for seven suns, so I should probably buy it. Especially if I have can afford that one and the key. Okay, what did Okay. I think I actually hit there. I did not like know that I activated it, so I'm very shocked that I actually hit. But that happens sometimes. And now I can't see him. I hate when you can't see the bosses. It's really, really annoying and makes it a lot harder to dodge. But I kind of like Dingle. He's very predictable. He telegraphs all his moves really, really well. And that makes him a lot easier. When you start playing, you will probably think he's one of the hardest bosses. But after the initial like learning process, he will become one of the easier ones. And let's pick up this, this, this money. And then going pick up a key. Yes, I love one key. Go in here. And holy crap, this is a good item. 2020. You shoot twice as much. There's no downside whatsoever to this item. But it makes it really good. And let's use it here. And it's two spirit hearts. Two spirit hearts for seven suns is quite a good deal. So I don't think I like ruin myself by picking that up why not use it here and what happened okay I got that thing that's really awesome it deals loads of damage I quite enjoy this uh, sea scroll thing that I have it's actually quite useful I thought I wouldn't like it but that I would give it a try but I really, really actually enjoy it okay 
Do I want that item? I think that I do. This one here? And I don't have anything else to do here. I could use a bomb to blow up some rocks and get a bomb out. But I would probably not gain anything from it. I could gain something from it. But the chance for that is really, really low. So this black powder thing I got. You can make circles. And you get that thing. And I think it deals damage. And the larger it is, the more damage it deals or something like that. It's pretty cool and unique. I like different items. Especially if they're good. I hope it's good. I actually don't know if it is. Let's use one pill and that's a 48 hour energy. Could be really good. I don't think it will use Dead Sea Scrolls. Okay, some bomb flies. Would like to explode them here. Like that. To save some bombs. But I might not be able to. Okay, got some spiders. I hate spiders. Let's blow. I wanted to blow the last one up on a different location, but I failed. Do we have keys? We have one key. So let's buy it. And we don't really have any good items there. I think this one is good. So let's see. Nothing good here. Just want to double check. And I stepped on a freaking button. Did not mean to do that. It should probably like turn off for a second or something after you step on it, so you can't step on it again like I did. And I think the difficulty scaling in greed mode is also kind of wacky. I feel like the enemies that spawn on floor 2 are easier than the ones that spawn on floor 1 usually. Especially you get a lot more enemies on floor 1. At least that's what I'm feeling like. It could be that I kill enemies faster on the second floor. And that makes it feel like this because I have more damage and such. Let's just kill these. I don't know what we're called, but very easy. And I haven't used Dead Sea Scrolls yet. Damn it, I did not mean to get hit. I'm kind of focused on talking. And that's really, really bad. I should definitely buy that at half cost. No negatives about it. And there's bombs. Lots of bombs. Okay. Bomberman. I think I should actually be able to kill you quite easy. He's one of the easier bosses. He's like a half boss or whatever. I was lucky there. I could definitely have been hit. Oh, hi. That's ki kind of awesome. He got stuck there. And please die. Good. I want you to die for me. And let's do the last thing. Okay, these bosses. You just run around in a circle and hopefully the laser will not hit you. And you will not trap yourself in. I wonder if I can get a big enough circle if I circle around. Good. Crap. They kind of stopped. I haven't created a circle with a black powder that I've actually been useful yet, so I will hopefully remember to do that. Ah! I keep forgetting that this laser can spin now, but it makes him a lot more dangerous. Lump of coal, lump of coal, lump of coal, please. And I got it. Great. My health is getting down, but my hopes are high. Because we just got a Tinted Rock. Two health, awesome. Really, really good. Doubled my health temporarily. A little, a little. Let's see, what do we get in this room? We get meat, damage and health up. Great. Not the biggest damage up, but it's still really good. And I think I will buy this. And a key. So the trinket I have now makes so we don't get any spacebar items. It might be bad because we don't have the greatest spacebar item. But usually, you'd rather get 
good like passive items instead of space bar items. Don't remember what that is. Oh, it's an also sub. That's awesome. And let's pick up this thing. Now we are almost at the tear cap. And we have pretty good damage. So I think this will go well. Let's just kill all the bats. Die, please. Where are you, enemies? I want to see you. I don't know what camera setting I have. I have some. I don't know if it's the, like, active one. Let's make some circle. Awesome. Kill him with my circle power. That's pretty cool. Yeah, awesome. That was actually a lot easier to use than I thought it would be. Like, come here. Like, it doesn't kill flying enemies. Really good to know. Let's test that again. Yeah, it doesn't hurt flying enemies. It only hurts enemies that touch it. Set. Crap. What? I just keep getting hit when I try to, like, use the circle. So, why use the circle? At least, why use a circle that is that big? When it's better for me to survive than use that thing. And why not use this? Oh! That was actually a health thing. I think it was the effect of Maggie's heart. Or whatever. The heart that Maggie starts with. So, quite a good pickup, actually. Or quite a good use of it. Because health? Why not? I don't like this boss. He, like, makes undodgeable attacks. And he's quite fast with his jumping. Not as fast as some other bosses, but he's still quite fast. Deal with the devil. Two hearts and a spider. Nothing great there. Nothing great at all. We have chaos. Should I buy chaos? It will mix up the pools. Yeah, I think it will be worth it. Let's, buy, let's use the pill. Want to make you smaller, that's good. Gives me a lot smaller hitbox. Still 48 hours energy. Let's blow these two up, because why not? Could give me money. Do I want to buy that thing? No, I don't think so. So let's go down to the next floor. And see what we get. After I've looked at the second secret room. Or secret room or whatever. Don't know if it's secret rooms or second secret rooms on greed mode. It doesn't really matter. It's a golden key. Yeah. That was useless. Going down to the next floor. We have passed through half the game maybe? Cricket's head for the win. Four extra damage and dead cat. Do I want to dead cat? Why not pick up dead cat? It's a gup item and it has a bed. Maybe should sleep in it later. Don't think I will do it now. My health is really, really low. Do I want something here? I think that's an angel orbital. And I think this is like a tear up. But I think I will reroll them and... Yeah, Godhead. God is good, right? Yeah, I think so. I think this is just perfect. Yeah, good. Die for me. As you see, this is really, really powerful. I think it deals damage to everything within the radius. And I think it's homing and things like that, so it's really good. Crap. With nine lives, I can respawn when I die. With, like, more... With one health. 
and I can do it nine times. So I think I will try and do that a couple of times. And maybe buy this item for even more damage. Yeah, good, 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 good. We have a key. We used the key here. Holy crap. That was a lot of enemies. I didn't think the boss thing would spawn so many enemies. That was crazy. Don't like this boss because they shoot lasers and lasers are hard as fuck to dodge. And I died. So let's retry that. I have eight more lives. And they spawn the same bosses again. That's good, you know. And we're dead. Still, yes, black hearts. That's strange. I would guess I would get items, but okay, why not? Let's pick up all the coins. And maybe go with this item here because it's a damage upgrade. And it's quite a good one. Not the best, but it's like one point of damage or something. You could see it for yourself. Good. All is done. A couple of floors left. Will I make it? Probably not. Ooh, what's that? A soul. That sounds awesome. Don't remember what it does, but... I think it, like, deflects tears away from you. And that's cool. I like that. Crap. I got hit. I don't know if I have piercing shots. If I do... Or if I don't, I will pick that up, because piercing shots are awesome. I don't know if Godheads gives you me gives me that or not. Let's buy the key. And go here, open the door. And Minimash. Speed and range, and it's a size down. So now I'm super, super tiny. Okay. They look to be uh, like... Piercing? They're not piercing. So I should probably get it. They're like semi piercing because if the area of effect hits, they just pauses through and don't stop. If the tier in the middle hits, they get stopped. So I think it's still a good idea to get that item. And that would be my second guppy item, I think. So pick it up. Then I'll need one more to become guppy. And that would be amazing. They died quickly. He died also really quickly. Good. Don't know if I'll get my, my last guppy item. But if I do, I will like it. Would like to have some flies spawning. Deal with the devil. Okay. That's worth it, I think. I've been to all the rooms. Yeah. Don't think I would blow him up. I might look for a secret room here. Because it was in that location last time. And I don't know how the secret room works on these things. My luck stat is weird. I thought you only could have round numbers in luck. But, oh. That's good. Let's buy this. And I can't fly. So let's use a bomb here. Pick that up. And I will buy Guppy's tail. No, I'm Guppy. I'm fucking Guppy. I'm Guppy Guppy. I kill stuff. Like super easy. This is probably one of the mo more powerful runs I've played with in greed mode. Without cheesing the game with like these 20. Don't like this boss. Don't like him at all. Because of that. I don't know what activates 
or how to like know where it puts drop down so I'm usually like oh I'm dead especially when you have as little health as I do let's pick up all of the monies all of the little monies go in here and black hearts should I go into the curse room that is a good question don't have any bombs here that's really bad let's pick this one up it gives our heart health up should I get that I don't know probably not let's go in here and I hoped there would be something good and I was correct you see my health now it's really, really good. Can't really afford to buy anything, so let's just go down to the last floor and fight the boss. The evil little boss. And my luck is still funky. I don't know what gives me that weird luck bonus. Or penalty or whatever I had. Maybe it's my trinket? No, not the trinket. It's pr this run is probably this good because I got that trinket. And let's pick up all the money. Money, money, money. And now fight the boss. Greed. He's so greedy. Yeah, just die. Kill some of the hearts. Let's use that effect. Don't know what it did. Let's use that effect again. Still no clue what it did, but it might be good. So let's use it again. Okay, I got eating hungry thing. So why not use it? Use it again. I'm looking for like a book of blind effect. Oh, that's invincibility. Really good. And uh, let's just kill some coins. The enemies that spawn doesn't really matter because they're no danger to me. If one tear touches them, they're dead. So I don't really care about them. They're probably good for me if they spawn. Because I can use them to make more flies. And now I will donate. I didn't get a lot of money. But I can probably donate it all. And it's pretty good. My donation machine is getting up there. I'm at soon 400. 400, please. 400! If you like this video, like it. If you want to see more videos from me, subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.